The languages of Africa are divided into six major language families. Afroasiatic languages are spread throughout Western Asia, North Africa, the Horn of Africa and parts of the Sahel. Austronesian languages are spoken in Madagascar. Indo-European languages are spoken in South Africa and Namibia Afrikaans, English, German, and are used as lingua francas in the former colonies of Britain English, former colonies of France and of Belgium French, former colonies of Portugal and remaining Afro-Portuguese islands Portuguese, and the current Spanish territories of Ceuta, Melilla and the Canary Islands Spanish. Co-languages are concentrated in the Kalahari Desert of Namibia and Botswana. Niger-Congo languages Bantu and non -Bantu cover West, Central, Southeast and Southern Africa. Nilo-Saharan languages Unity debated, are spoken from Tanzania to Sudan and from Chad to Mali. There are several other small families and language isolates, as well as languages that have yet to be classified. In addition, Africa has a wide variety of sign languages, many of which are language isolates see below. The total number of languages natively spoken in Africa is variously estimated, depending on the delineation of language versus dialect, at between 1,250 and 2,100, and by some counts at over 3,000. Nigeria alone has over 500 languages, according to the Count of Sil Ethnologue, one of the greatest concentrations of linguistic diversity in the world. However, one of the notable differences between Africa and most other linguistic areas is its relative uniformity. With few exceptions, all of Africa's languages have been gathered into four major phyla. Around a hundred languages are widely used for inter-ethnic communication. Arabic, Somali, Berber, Amharic, Oromo, Igbo, Swahili, Hausa, Manding, Fulani and Yoruba are spoken by tens of millions of people. Twelve dialect clusters which may group up to a hundred linguistic varieties are spoken by 75%, and 15 by 85%, of Africans as a first or additional language. Although many mid-sized languages are used on the radio, in newspapers and in primary school education, and some of the larger ones are considered national languages, only a few are official at the national level. The African Union declared 2006 the Year of African Languages. Language groups Most languages spoken in Africa belong to one of three large language families, Afroasiatic, Nilo-Saharan and Niger-Congo. Another hundred belong to small families such as Ubongian, sometimes grouped within Niger-Congo, and the various families called Khoisan, or the Indo-European and Austronesian language families mainly spoken outside Africa. The presence of the latter two dates to 2600 and 1500 years ago, respectively. In addition, the languages of Africa languages include several unclassified languages and sign languages. The earliest Afroasiatic languages are associated with the Caption culture, the Nilo-Saharan languages are linked with the Khartoum Mesolithic, Neolithic, the Niger-Congo languages are correlated with the West and Central African Ho-based farming traditions and the Khoisan languages are matched with the South and Southeastern Wilton industries. More broadly, the Afroasiatic family is tentatively grouped within the Nostratic superfamily, and the Nilo-Saharan and Niger-Congo phyla form the Niger-Saharan macrophylum. Afroasiatic languages Afroasiatic languages are spoken throughout North Africa, the Horn of Africa, Western Asia and parts of the Sahel. There are approximately 375 Afroasiatic languages spoken by over 400 million people. The main subfamilies of Afroasiatic are Berber, Chadic, Cushitic, Egyptian and Semitic. The Afroasiatic or Hymat is uncertain. However, the family most extensive branch, the Semitic languages including Arabic, Amharic and Hebrew among others, seems to have developed in the Arabian Peninsula. The Semitic languages are now the only branch of Afroasiatic that is spoken outside Africa. Some of the most widely spoken Afroasiatic languages include Arabic, a Semitic language, and a recent arrival from West Asia, Somali, Cushitic, Berber, Berber, Hausa, Chadic, Amharic, Semitic, and Oromo, Cushitic. Of the world 
S. Surviving language families, Afroasiatic has the longest written history, as both the Akkadian language of Mesopotamia and Ancient Egyptian are members. Nilo-Saharan languages Nilo-Saharan languages consist of a hundred diverse languages. The family has a speech area that stretches from the Nile Valley to northern Tanzania and into Nigeria and Dr. Congo, with the Songhe languages along the middle reaches of the Niger River as a geographic outlier. Genetic linkage between these languages has not been conclusively demonstrated, and among linguists, support for the proposal is sparse. The languages share some unusual morphology, but if they are related, most of the branches must have undergone major restructuring since diverging from their common ancestor. The inclusion of the Songhe languages is questionable, and doubts have been raised over the Komen, Gumas and Kadu branches. Some of the better-known Nilo-Saharan languages are Kanori, Fur, Songhe, Nobin and the widespread Nilotic family, which includes the Luo, Dinka and Masai. The Nilo-Saharan languages are tonal. Niger-Congo languages The Niger-Congo languages constitute the largest language family spoken in Africa and perhaps the world in terms of the number of languages. One of its salient features is an elaborate noun class system with grammatical concord. A large majority of languages of this family are tonal such as Yoruba and Igbo, Ashanti and Awe language. A major branch of Niger-Congo languages is the Bantu phylum, which has a wider speech area than the rest of the family. See Niger-Congo B, Bantu, in the map above. The Niger-Kordufenian language family, joining Niger-Congo with the Kordufenian languages of South Central Sudan, was proposed in the 1950s by Joseph Greenberg. Today, linguists often use Niger-Congo to refer to this entire family, including Kordufenian as a subfamily. One reason for this is that it is not clear whether Kordufenian was the first branch to diverge from rest of Niger-Congo. Monde has been claimed to be equally or more divergent. Niger-Congo is generally accepted by linguists, though a few question the inclusion of Monde and Dogon, and there is no conclusive evidence for the inclusion of Ubongian. Other language families Several languages spoken in Africa belong to language families concentrated or originating outside the African continent. Austronesian Malagasy belongs to the Austronesian languages and is the westernmost branch of the family. It is the national and co-official language of Madagascar and one of Malagasy dialects called Bushi is also spoken in Mayotte. The ancestors of the Malagasy people migrated to Madagascar around 1,500 years ago from Southeast Asia, more specifically the island of Borneo. The origins of how they arrived to Madagascar remains a mystery, however the Austronesians are known for their seafaring culture. Despite the geographical isolation, Malagasy still has strong resemblance to Burrito languages especially the Manyan language of southern Borneo. With more than 20 million speakers, Malagasy is one of the most widely spoken of the Austronesian languages. Indo-European Afrikaans is Indo-European, as is most of the vocabulary of most African Creole languages. Afrikaans evolved from the Dutch vernacular of South Holland, Hollandic dialect spoken by the mainly Dutch settlers of what is now South Africa, where it gradually began to develop distinguishing characteristics in the course of the 18th century. Most Afrikaans speakers live in South Africa. In Namibia it is the lingua franca and in Botswana and Zimbabwe it is a minority language of roughly several 10,000 people. Overall 15 to 20 million people are estimated to speak Afrikaans. Since the colonial era, Indo-European languages such as Afrikaans, English, French, Italian, lost official status in 1939, Portuguese and Spanish, official still in Equatorial Guinea, Canary Islands, Melilla, Ceuta are part of Spain, still hold official status in many countries, and or are widely spoken, generally as lingua francas, see African French and African Portuguese, German was once used in Germany. S colonies there from the late 1800s until World War I, when Britain and France took over and revoked German's official status. Despite this, German is still spoken in Namibia, mostly among the white population. 
Although it lost its official status in the 1990s, it has been redesignated as a national language. Indian languages such as Gujarati are spoken by South Asian expatriates exclusively. In earlier historical times, other Indo-European languages could be found in various parts of the continent, such as Old Persian and Greek in Egypt, Latin and Vandalic in North Africa and Modern Persian in the Horn of Africa. Small families The three small Khoisan families of Southern Africa have not been shown to be closely related to any other major language family. In addition, there are various other families that have not been demonstrated to belong to one of these families. The questionable branches of Nilo Saharan were covered above, and are not repeated here. Mande, some 70 languages, including the major languages of Mali and Guinea. These are generally thought to be divergent Niger Congo, but debate persists. Ubongian, some 70 languages, centered on the languages of the Central African Republic, may be Niger Congo. Co. around 10 languages, the primary family of Khoisan languages of Namibia and Botswana Sanda, an isolate of Tanzania, possibly related to Co. Kara, a language of Southern Africa 2. or Taa Kui, two surviving languages Hadza, an isolate of Tanzania Banjim, a likely isolate of Mali Jala, a likely isolate of Nigeria Laal, a possible isolate of Chadkoisan is a term of convenience covering some 30 languages spoken by around 300,000 to 400,000 people. There are five Khoisan families that have not been shown to be related to each other, Ko, Tu and Kara, which are found mainly in Namibia and Botswana, as well as Sanda and Hadza of Tanzania, which are language isolates. A striking feature of Khoisan languages, and the reason they are often grouped together, is their use of click consonants. Some neighboring Bantu languages, notably Kosa and Zulu, have clicks as well, but these were adopted from Khoisan languages. The Khoisan languages are also tonal. Creole languages Due partly to its multilingualism and its colonial past, a substantial proportion of the world's Creole languages are to be found in Africa. Some are based on Indo-European languages e.g. Creo from English in Sierra Leone and the very similar pidgin in Nigeria, Ghana and parts of Cameroon, Cape Verdean Creole in Cape Verde and Guinea-Bissau Creole in Guinea-Bissau and Senegal, all from Portuguese, Seychellois Creole in the Seychelles and Mauritian Creole in Mauritius, both from French, some are based on Arabic e.g. Juba Arabic in the southern Sudan, or Nubi in parts of Uganda and Kenya. Some are based on local languages, e.g. Sango, the main language of the Central African Republic, while in Cameroon a Creole based on French, English and local African languages known as Camfranglais has started to become popular. In classified languages a fair number of unclassified languages are reported in Africa. Many remain unclassified simply for lack of data. Among the better investigated ones that continue to resist easy classification are possibly Afroasiatic, Ongota, Gamba, possibly Nilo Saharan, Shabo, possibly Niger Congo, Jala, Mbre, Bayat, possibly Ko, Kwadi Unknown, Laal, M. Pravis, Jala is perhaps the most likely to be an isolate. Less well investigated languages include Arimba, Luo, Maba, Rer Bear, possibly Bantu, Bet, evidently Jukanoid, Bung, unclear, Kujarj, evidently Chadic, Lufu, Jukanoid, Meroitic, possibly Afroasiatic, Oropum, possibly Spurious, and Waitu, evidently Cushitic. Several of these are extinct, and adequate comparative data is thus unlikely to be forthcoming. Hombert and Philipson 2009, list a number of African languages that have been classified as language isolates at one point or another. Many of these are simply unclassified, but Hombert and Philipson believe Africa has about 20 language families, including isolates. Beside the possibilities listed above, there are, AASAX or Aramanic, Tanzania, South Cushitic, contains non-Cushitic lexicon, Amerigouin, Mauritania, Hassania Arabic restructured on an Azert, Saniki, Base, Kara, Fair, Central African Republic, Oblo, Cameroon, Adamawa. Extinct, Roger Blench notes a couple additional possibilities, Defaka, Nigeria, Dampo, Ghana, sign languages Many African countries have national sign languages, such as Algerian Sign Language, Tunisian Sign Language, Ethiopian Sign Language. 
Other sign languages are restricted to small areas or single villages, such as Atamorob Sign Language in Ghana. Tanzania has seven, one for each of its schools for the deaf, all of which are discouraged. Not much is known, since little has been published on these languages. Sign language systems extant in Africa include the Paget Gorman sign system used in Namibia and Angola, the Sudanese sign languages used in Sudan and South Sudan, the Arab sign languages used across the Arab Mideast, the Franco sign languages used in Francophone Africa and other areas such as Ghana and Tunisia, and the Tanzanian sign languages used in Tanzania. Language in Africa Throughout the long multilingual history of the African continent, African languages have been subject to phenomena like language contact, language expansion, language shift and language death. A case in point is the Bantu expansion, in which Bantu-speaking peoples expanded over most of sub-equatorial Africa, displacing Khoisan-speaking peoples from much of Southeast Africa and Southern Africa and other peoples from Central Africa. Another example is the Arab expansion in the 7th century, which led to the extension of Arabic from its homeland in Asia, into much of North Africa and the Horn of Africa. Trait languages are another age-old phenomenon in the African linguistic landscape. Cultural and linguistic innovations spread along trade routes and languages of peoples dominant in trade developed into languages of wider communication, lingua franca. Of particular importance in this respect are Berber, North and West Africa, Jula, Western West Africa, Fulfold, West Africa, Hausa, West Africa, Lingala, Congo, Swahili, Southeast Africa, Somali, Horn of Africa, and Arabic, North Africa and Horn of Africa. After gaining independence, many African countries, in the search for national unity, selected one language, generally the former colonial language, to be used in government and education. However, in recent years, African countries have become increasingly supportive of maintaining linguistic diversity. Language policies that are being developed nowadays are mostly aimed at multilingualism. Official languages Besides the former colonial languages of English, French, Portuguese and Spanish, the following languages are official at the national level in Africa, non-exhaustive list, Afroasiatic Arabic in Comoros, Chad, Djibouti, Egypt, Eritrea, Mauritania, Somalia, Sudan, Tunisia, Algeria, Libya, Morocco and Zanzibar, Tanzania. Berber in Morocco and Algeria. Amharic in Ethiopia. Somali in Somalia. Tigrinya in Eritrea and Ethiopia, Austronesian Malagasy in Madagascar, Indo European Afrikaans, Nigger Congo, Chua in Malawi and Zimbabwe, Comorian in the Comoros, Kinyarwanda in Rwanda, Kurundi in Burundi, Sasutu in Lesotho, South Africa and Zimbabwe, Setswana, Sawana in Botswana and South Africa. Shona, Sindebel in Zimbabwe, Sepedi in South Africa, Dibeli in South Africa, Swahili in Tanzania, Kenya, Rwanda, and Uganda, Swati in Eswatini and South Africa, Sangha in South Africa, Venda in South Africa, Kosa in South Africa. Zulu in South Africa Cross-border languages The colonial borders established by European powers following the Berlin Conference in 1884–1885 divided a great many ethnic groups and African language-speaking communities. In a sense, cross-border languages is a misnomer. The speakers did not divide themselves. Nevertheless, it describes the reality of many African languages, which has implications for divergence of language on either side of a border, especially when the official languages are different, standards for writing the language, etc. Some notable cross-border languages include Berber, which stretches across much of North Africa and some parts of West Africa, Somali, stretches across most of the Horn of Africa, Swahili, spoken in the African Great Lakes region, Fula, in the Sahel and West Africa, and Luo languages, in Democratic Republic of the Congo, Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, South Sudan and Sudan. 
Some prominent Africans such as former Malian President and former Chairman of the African Commission, Alpha Omar Kanare, have referred to cross-border languages as a factor that can promote African unity. Language change and planning Language is not static in Africa any more than on other continents. In addition to the likely modest impact of borders, there are also cases of dialect leveling, such as in Igbo and probably many others, koines, such as in Ko and possibly Runyakitara, and emergence of new dialects, such as Shang. In some countries, there are official efforts to develop standardized language versions. There are also many less widely spoken languages that may be considered endangered languages. Demographics Of the 1 billion Africans, in 2009, about 17% speak an Arabic dialect. About 10% speak Swahili, the lingua franca of Southeast Africa, about 5% speak a Berber dialect, and about 5% speak Hausa, which serves as a lingua franca in much of the Sahel. Other important West African languages are Yoruba, Igbo and Fula. Major Horn of Africa languages are Amharic, Oromo and Somali. Important South African languages are Zulu, Xhosa and Afrikaans. English, French and Portuguese are important languages in Africa. About 130 million, 115 million and 30 million Africans, respectively, speak them as either native or secondary languages. Portuguese has become the national language of Angola, and Portuguese is the official language of Mozambique. The economies of Angola and Mozambique are quickly becoming economic powerhouses in Africa. Through, among other factors, sheer demographic weight, Africans are increasingly taking ownership of these three world languages as they are having an ever greater influence on the research, economic growth and development in the African countries where English, French and Portuguese are spoken. Linguistic features Some linguistic features are particularly common among languages spoken in Africa, whereas others are less common. Such shared traits probably are not due to a common origin of all African languages. Instead, some may be due to language contact, resulting in borrowing, and specific idioms and phrases may be due to a similar cultural background. Phonological Some widespread phonetic features include, certain types of consonants, such as implosives, ah, adjectives, k at the labiodental flap and in southern Africa, clicks, ah, ah. True implosives are rare outside Africa, and clicks and the flap almost unheard of, doubly articulated labial velar stops like k, pa, and ba are found in places south of the Sahara. Prenasalized consonants, like mpa, and a, ah, are widespread in Africa but not common outside it. Sequences of stops and fricatives at the beginnings of words, such as fsa, pta, and dt, sk, x at nasal stops which only occur with nasal vowels, such as ba versus ma, but both pa, and pa, especially especially in West Africa, vowels contrasting an advanced or retracted tongue, commonly called tense, and lax, simple tone systems which are used for grammatical purposes, sounds that are relatively uncommon in African languages include uvular consonants, diphthongs and front-rounded vowels Tonal languages are found throughout the world but are predominantly used in Africa. Both the Nilo-Saharan and the Khoisan phyla are fully tonal. The large majority of the Niger-Congo languages is also tonal. Tonal languages are also found in the Omotic, Chadic and South and East Cushitic branches of Afroasiatic. The most common type of tonal system opposes two tone levels, high H and low L. Contour tones do occur, and can often be analyzed as two or more tones in succession on a single syllable. Tone melodies play an important role, meaning that it is often possible to state significant generalizations by separating tone sequences melodies, from the segments that bear them. Tonal sandy processes like tone spread, tone shift, downstep and downdrift are common in African languages. Syntactic widespread syntactical structures include the common use of adjectival verbs and the expression of comparison by means of a verb to surpass. The Niger-Congo languages have large numbers of genders, noun classes, which cause agreement in verbs and other words. Case, tense and other categories may be distinguished only by tone. Semantic quite often, only one term is used for both animal and meat. The word nama or nyama for animal, meat is particularly widespread in otherwise widely divergent African languages. Number of speakers The following is a table displaying the number of speakers of given languages within Africa. 
by region. Below is a list of the major languages of Africa by region, family and total number of primary language speakers in millions. See also General Languages of the African Union Writing Systems of Africa Journal of West African Languages Works Polyglotta Africana The Languages of Africa Classifiers Carl Lepsius Wilhelm Bleek Carl Meinhof Diedrich Westermann Joseph Greenberg Colonial and migratory influences Asian Africans Dutch Language Union French West Africa German colonization of Africa Italian East Africa Including Italian Ethiopia Maghrebi Arabic The A Muslim Conquest of the Maghreb Portuguese Language in Africa Predominant in Portuguese-speaking African countries Spanish Guinea Presently Equatorial Guinea Spanish West Africa Spanish North Africa West African Pidgin English White Africans of European ancestry Be a scramble for Africa Notes References Childs, G. Tucker, 2003. An Introduction to African Languages. Amsterdam, John Benjamin. Chimhundu, Herbert, 2002. Language Policies in Africa, Final Report of the Intergovernmental Conference on Language Policies in Africa, Revised Version. UNESCO. Cust, Robert Needham, 1883. Modern Languages of Africa. Ellis, Stephen, ed. 1996. Africa Now, People, Policies, Institutions. The Hague, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, DGIS. Ellugby, Ben, 1998. Cross-Border and Major Languages of Africa. In K. Legere, Editor, Cross-Border Languages, Reports and Studies, Regional Workshop on Cross-Border Languages, National Institute for Educational Development, Mead, Okahanja, 23-27 September 1996. Windhoek, Gamsberg Macmillan. Ethnologue.com, S. Africa, a listing of African languages and language families. Greenberg, Joseph H. 1983. Some Aerial Characteristics of African Languages. In Ivan R. Dyhoff, Editor, Current Approaches to African Linguistics, Volume 1, Publications in African Languages and Linguistics, Volume 1, Dordrecht, Forest 3-21. Greenberg, Joseph H. 1966. The Languages of Africa, Second Edition with Editions and Corrections. Bloomington, Indiana University. Heine, Berndt and Derek Nurse, Editors, 2000. African Languages, An Introduction. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. Webb, Vic and Kembo Schur, Editors, 1998. African Voices, An Introduction to the Languages and Linguistics of Africa. Cape Town, Oxford University Press Southern Africa. Wedekind, Klaus, Oxford University Press. External links. African Language Resources for Children Web Resources for African Languages Linguistic Maps of Africa from Mutersakin.com Online Dictionaries, e-books and other online fulltexts in or on African Languages